Hey, it's me, C, and welcome back to my channel. Okay, you guys, I know you guys see the big hair, the faux leather, and you're probably wondering, what the hell, girl, what the hell you got going on? Well, the... <laughs> If you want to know, one day I was just perusing around Walmart getting, you know, Walmart teens and somehow I ended up in the cosmetic area and I found some wet and wild goodies that I wanted to try. Yes, I said wet and wild. And y'all, when I think about wet and wild, I think about the 80s. I think about colorful like eyeshadow. I think about affordable I think about just, I don't know, like bright, bold, 80s, just a whole lot, a whole lot. Of. So I can't wait to show you guys the products that I got from their Halloween collection. All of the products that I got are under $5. Um, the main attraction is the Fantasy Makers 10 Pan Eyeshadow Palette from Wet n Wild. And this is the Hollow Queen palette <laughs> hello queen and y'all i even got the black lipstick i don't wear no damn black lipstick but we gonna see today and last but very not least we found these little above the eye and below the eye little sticker things as you see in the picture right here sorry that these eyeshadow shades do not have names but you'll be able to see what I'm using when I'm using it. So let's just go right in. I'm going to grab the purple right here. Honestly, based on the picture, there's only really like three, four colors I think they use. So we're just going to go for it. And to be honest with y'all, I really don't even know what to expect because I haven't used a Wet n Wild eyeshadow since probably like ninth grade, but they've been coming out with some collections that seem to be good. So, I mean, the pigment is there, it's there. I can see it. And I'm a little, little brown, little chocolate thing. You know what I'm saying? So the pigment is there. So realistically, there's not a rhyme or reason as to how I'm applying this eyeshadow because on the lid, you there's really only the purple, to be honest. But I think I am, well, the dark purple. But I think I'm going to go in on our um, actual lid, like down here, with the lighter purple. Okay, so far so good. I'm now going to go on with this black transition shade. It is a matte shade. And I'm going to go in very gently, just like on my crease, kind of to darken the purple up. Oh wait, hold on. This black a little bit more pigmented than I thought. Okay, well, let's blend it up, blend it up. Ooh, child. Super fun fact about me, I live for a black eyeshadow. Like, honestly, I need a black eyeshadow. Another thing to note, this look isn't supposed to be super perfect, so don't get too caught up on that. Now I'm going to use this light purple shade and put it on the center of my lid. Let me use my finger and see. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Add a little definition. You know, a little something, something. Okay, so now I'm going to take this blue shade down here. And it's going to go right on my under eye. Oh wow. Oh wow. Okay, Miss Mamas. Honestly, y'all, I'm really shocked by the pigment because I didn't use an eyeshadow primer. I didn't use any other base other than just, I guess, my foundation or concealer or whatever. But this is actually performing quite well. Go ahead, wet and wild with your dad's so. self. Okay. okay. Next, I want to use the shade at the top. It's like a white, a frosty white color. 
and that baby is going to go in our inner corner. Right there. Ooh. Okay. Y'all, I am thoroughly shocked. Like, I am so surprised. Like, was wet and wild this good when I was using it back in the day? Because maybe it was just because, I don't know. I didn't know what I was doing, so maybe I blame what and why when I should have been blaming myself. Cause, and you know what else too? I think because of the look we're doing today, I'm not as critical. This is a very loose, very easygoing look. I normally don't put shimmer shadows all over my eyelids like that. It's normally like, oh inner corner or, oh the lid like cut crease whatever but this is such a different I guess style of look than what I normally do so maybe that's why I'm not so like critical like oh this has to be perfect it's just you know we're creating a look let me look at the picture real quick and see what kind of liner Miss Ma'am has okay so she don't really have liner really honestly she just has like a little so that's what we're going to do today oh wow okay liner okay 198 <laughs> this liner was only like a dollar and some change y'all that liner was super easy to use Okay, so while we wait for our lashes to dry, let's just go ahead and see how we work these. So I guess I'm just gonna kind of put them right above my brows. Okay. And then let's do the under eye. I don't know, like should I do both sides? I kind of like the way it is with just one side. Like, you know, my hair is so big on this side, you won't even see the other side really. I feel like this look is giving me like I'm going to a ball. You guys watch Pose? If you don't watch Pose, it's pretty much about the ballroom scene in New York in the 80s and 90s. And that's what this is giving me. Like, I could be Electra. Mm -hmm. This is giving me a 1980s Hollow Queen. Period. Like, period. Okay, so our lashes are on. We are just gonna go for it and we are going to do this black lipstick child. I'm, mm -mm. Let's just at least line them. I'm so terrified right now. I'm just let you know. This will be a great cat look. Okay, let me find out black lip look a little good on me. So in the picture, her lips are glossy. So of course we are going to gloss these up. I'm just using my basic, you know, clear lip gloss from the beauty supply store that I love so much. You guys, I look like, I feel so like goth glam, you know what I'm saying? I don't know why I just did that, but I just feel so like goth glam. I just feel so like, you know, 1980s Barbie. I feel so like in the Halloween spirit because honestly, let's be honest, Halloween is probably canceled. Nobody's going to the club. And if you are, I don't know where you live. Um, kids, I don't even know if they can trick or treat, like, but if you want to see more Halloween slays, make sure you go to Catch the Beat on YouTube, and that's where I will be posting all of my Halloween makeup looks. Teray and I both, we have some ideas for y'all, okay? So make sure you are subscribed 
to catch the beat on YouTube. As always, I thank you guys so much for tuning in. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and turn that post notification bell on so you don't miss anything that I post. I'll see you in the next video. Oh, 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 oh,